Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back at it here on the live stream with an update video on this 1st of November 2023, about 11 48 a.m. here, California time. Uh, latest activity looks like a 1.4 into the area of Alaska. Did see some movement kicking up here overnight, uh, including. Well, it looks like um, somebody out here reporting a 5.5 into the Idaho area. Let's see exactly what's going on there. Or maybe it was a mistake. Check this out here real quick on the world map from the EMSC globe or EMSC site. Looks like that's somewhere up there in uh, Idaho area, uh, but much smaller then a uh, five pointer a 3.7 there to be exact by the emsc usgs reporting this as a uh well let's see where is it what's going on here largest magnitudes 3.5 oh quite the difference there between a 5.5 and a 3.5 so that's the emsc not for sure why it does that but uh something to do with their uh, switching around to this new website that they've uh, utilized here recently. So hopefully they'll get a fix in that. Either way, a 3.5 coming in uh, to the uh, Stanley, Idaho area. Uh, that was yesterday. Um, Yellowstone National Park, a couple smaller earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. Now, let me double check that uh, Yellowstone Nash or the uh, Yellowstone seismograph stations here a 5.5 would drastically cover uh, a good almost all of these seismograph stations here with a strong signature but I I see the earthquake in question that's going to be this 3.5 right here definitely not even looking close to a five pointer again that would be um, pretty dramatic looking across the charts uh, but far as earthquake activity there at Yellowstone a handful of uh, smaller quakes there as well looks like that's uh, a little bit of a swarm activity here across the Mary Lake region. It's going to be this activity right here. Quite a few little earthquakes in that uh, spitter spatter event. Uh, looks like USGS did pick up on at least four of those um, within seconds of each other here. Uh, looks like a couple, a couple ones in there. All right, uh, let's see what else we got going on here across the area. Mount St. Helens still seeing some movement today with uh, quite a few smaller earthquakes, nothing major going on. We'll double check the uh, latest webcam image here of Mount St. Helens. Looks like it's out of focus. Uh, not for sure, but uh, we'll have to check back on that a little bit later. Uh, nothing major changing up there anyway that I can tell there on the earthquake map. Uh, far as West Coast goes, California area, a handful of smaller quakes out there in the last 24 hours. Doesn't look like uh, too much movement going on here today. We do have some activity just outside the Concord area from yesterday and one earthquake from today, a little 1.3. Uh, aside from that, movement out in Texas and Oklahoma, typical activity. Uh, not a whole lot going on out here in the Iceland area. This region did see uh, some movement up there into the, uh, well, it's around a, a volcano. Uh, let's, see if they, let's see what we got here. A little 3.3 being reported by the EMSC uh, today, right around the uh, Rec James Ridge area. Now, I did pull up the latest information here on the Iceland volcano, which is currently sitting at an aviation color code of yellow. Uh, last activity level was moderate, and that was back in uh, 1240 CE, uh, according to this site here. Regular intervals of this volcano which is right down here in this uh, yellow flag area. There's fissures out here as well. Uh, you can see the uh, historical areas of uh, past eruptions. Uh, looks like a thousand year intervals at least um, in between regular occurrences. And uh, the last significant eruption was back in 1210 to 1240 CE. So it's been a little while uh, and they've been having a little bit of earthquake swarming up there specifically around this area of Iceland. So we'll continue to watch that uh, for some uh, some eruptive status here. Just don't know when exactly, but we'll continue to watch that. All right, uh, further out into the Pacific, 
A couple earthquakes earlier this morning, it looks like, a little 5.1. Filling in slightly around the area of, uh, let's see, it looks like Solomon Islands did have some movement as well, 5.2. This area has been quiet here the past couple days following deeper movement quakes there into the Tonga Trench. So it looks like we're filling in a little bit there in the last 24 hours. Also down along the Kermadec Trench, 4.8, just after midnight, my time. Uh, New Zealand area. Looks like uh, looks like they had a 3.1 down here outside the Wellington area. So let's go double check that and see what's going on across the GeoNet servers on this fine Wednesday, middle of the week. Uh, 2.8, 3.1, right around the same area here outside Wellington, North Island region. Uh, aside from that, some older quakes there in the last couple days. Uh, I'm sure some of those earthquakes there around North Island will show up on the seismograph stations. And um, looks like maybe it's going to be one of these right here. There's a smaller earthquake. Either way, that doesn't even really look like a three-pointer showing up here. But some earthquake activity showing up. Nonetheless, uh, moving out here, uh, see what we got across the Java Trench area. One earthquake way up north into the Andaman Sea. Excuse me. That earthquake coming in uh, 5.1 magnitude about 5 o'clock this morning at 5.51, 15 seconds. Whole lot of fives and ones there in that mix of numbers. Uh, that was followed up here by another 5.1 back here across the Indonesia Islands area. Uh, further up north, some older movement quakes here uh, from yesterday. Although it looks like we did have another 4.9 up here. Uh, just after 1 o'clock in the morning, my time here near the Kuril Islands. Uh, a little bit of activity stirring up there across the Middle East and Mediterranean. Uh, very minimal movement, to say the least. Not a whole lot going on uh, across that area of the world for now. Uh, just looking at the Earthquake 3D globe here uh, for any signs of unusual activity. It looks like, just for now, a couple different clusterings going on here up north in Central, across the area of the Java Trench and a little bit down south here. Uh, but for the most part, we haven't really seen any uh, large-scale activity here in the past day. Uh, past couple days, of course, we've seen that 6-pointer, 6 6.5 here in the Tonga Trench. Pretty deep earthquake activity. Uh, the latest one here, 3 o'clock in the morning, does show... Uh, another further deeper scale earthquake down there into the Tonga Trench, 5.1, uh, 410 kilometers deep. So continue to watch this area, maybe for some surface adjustment following that deeper activity. There in the big island of Hawaii, things toning down. Not a whole lot of activity to report here across the area today. Let's double check the latest information on the Kilauea volcano. There on the big island, it doesn't look like it was put out yet. That's from yesterday, and it's probably going to say the same thing today once it gets put out. Um, uh, no thanks. Let's go over here and check out the Kilauea Volcano and the tilt meter to see if anything uh, spectacular is going on here across this area. Still seeing some down downturn. Deflation, although not rapidly, it is slowly uh, getting that deflation here over the past, almost the past two days now. Uh, but the overall trend still continues to show that uh, inflation uh, up here on this chart. So we'll continue to watch that. It does take a couple days break on occasion and then it will kick back up. We'll just see how uh, Mother Nature wants to play this one out. All right, uh, space weather activity. We did have a little bit of M-flare activity in the last 24 hours, as you can see here on the map. A couple horns showing up here on the graph. Low grade M-flare activity. Looks like that was an M1.1, and over here a little bit bigger, an M1.3 or so, 1.4. In the last 24 hours, we're hovering uh, right around the C flare category right now as we speak. Um, let's see what we got for sunspot regions. Now, we are looking at a couple different active regions around the eastern limb of the sun that are coming into play. Uh, overnight, it looks like this area... Uh, that we've been watching here the past couple days has advanced a little bit more uh, and grown a little bit larger and more complex in the magnetic cores here of this sunspot region. We'll continue to watch that. That could be a source of some in-flare act in -flare activity. And also around the eastern limb, a couple newer sunspots uh, trying to 
get in the view it looks like 85 percent chance for a c flare m flare at 25 percent chance x flare around five percent and um well no major roars in the forecast no major solar storm events we'll have to wait to see if we can get any uh major cmes earth directed for now we'll just go with what we have but it looks like things are starting to kick back up here on this chart here's a seven day let me show you guys seven day map that mostly shows a lot of nothingness we had a a couple day period here where we were below the c flare category hovering into the uh the b flare which is very minimal activity but it looks as though things are starting to ramp back up here in terms of uh the solar flare activity here on the sun we'll continue to watch that all right storm prediction center today next couple days nothing day one day two day three zip zero not a whole lot of severe weather going on out there uh here is the uh <clears throat> excuse me numerical model see if i can get that to key up maybe maybe not are we working are we live uh yes we're live that was kind of weird looks like it took a little second to key up there not for sure what was going on definitely a little on the weird side I don't think it's me. No, it's got to be just that site. All right. So put this into motion here. Uh, do have high pressure building back out here across the eastern portion of the country. Uh, some rain coming into the Pacific Northwest along with some cooler temperatures. A little bit in Northern California, as you can see here, uh, about Sacramento northward. Getting in on some shower activity as we head towards Saturday. And that appears to be opening up the storm door here for the West Coast as uh, next week looks somewhat wet as well. Um, looks like storm after storm maybe wants to venture in here to the West Coast. Uh, and to me, that's okay because I'm a big fan of the cooler and the wetter weather. Going to back out of here and get a little broader view of the North American area, uh, North America area, and uh, check out these assembles, see what's um, dominating the weather patterns out here what's creating this uh activity there's high pressure out here across the uh, west coast but not super strong doesn't look like that's gonna be strong enough to uh keep those low pressures from forming and uh, bring in some cooler weather out here and rainier weather across the west coast uh, and this far out into november is a little sketchy we just don't know 100 percent if that's going to be accurate or not uh, I'd say probably only about a week, maybe if we're lucky, a week into the future is uh, about as accurate these things are going to get. And so it uh, looks like it does look like for now um, some rain for the Pacific Northwest. Cooler conditions out in the east, though, are going to be warming up slightly with that low pressure scooting up north into Canada and filling back in with some neutral temperatures. It looks like there across the eastern uh, portion of the country. So we'll continue to watch that and see how that uh, develops. All right, earthquake activity on the live seismographs. Well, pretty non-existent right now. Not a whole lot showing up here uh, as far as uh, earthquake activity goes. Seems like an okay day. Not a, not a bad way to start off the uh, first day of November. No major earthquakes, at least for now. Um, this one here down in the Salton Sea was from last night, a 2.1, actually yesterday afternoon. Really not seeing anything spectacular going on out here across the West Coast. No major swarms, no unusual activity. And again, that five-pointer that's showing, well, that's a little small. Let's key that back up here. That 5.5 that's showing up here on the globe is the EMSC model, uh, inaccurately putting this up here on the globe. I they've been messing up here a little bit i'm not for sure why uh, but take this say if you see an unusual activity event out here 5.5 coming into idaho uh, it's probably best to go to the usgs site and double check see what's being reported because this is a 3.5 uh, no way was this a, a five pointer because we would have seen that showing up um, across many many different stations there um but it's just not, definitely not uh, anywhere close to a five. The majority of these seismograph stations here, 
even showing what looks like uh, magnitudes well below 4. Um, 3.5, 3.2. So not for sure where EMSC model is getting their uh, inaccurate information, but uh, definitely not there. Not, not a 5.5, folks. A little bit smaller than that, that's for sure. All right, uh, have yourself a good day, and uh, please stay safe out there. Catch you guys back here a little bit later on this evening with the uh, Wednesday night update. Going to try to get a little bit of yard work done today. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on. Have a good one.